All right, so we have the chance to be with the legendary Ron Bogner right here. He's one of the uh, founders of NASCO Worldwide, and he's really taught us a lot about this product, and it's incredible to see you know, how far they've gone. And luckily enough, we've been able to see quite a few applications and wanted to learn more. What's the relationship with HCB, and where have you guys, what have you guys been up to lately? That's a great question, thank you. So we have the honor today of doing the new uh, 65 HCB up at Hinkley and Stewart, kind of co-collaboration with these guys. And uh, uh, now pretty much every single HCB that's come out, it's standard on the boats and everything. I think we've done probably 25 to 30, 30 HCBs with no problems. And the cool thing about this, why I say no problems is, is that you could have a problem with Hallmax if you do not maintain it. So the great thing about Hallmax is it works perfectly if you use it the way it's properly designed to be used. And so what I mean by that is that our product is not a miracle. You can hardly see it. This is dry, it's beautiful on here. Mike and the HCB team does a phenomenal job with the prep. We, we haven't seen anything as good as this so far. So take a look at the bow thruster right here. You wanna apply this stuff everywhere that you possibly can. They actually had the blades out of there once before while they were at applying the Hallmax. So they did that first and then they installed everything else in between that. Obviously when you move around those props, it'll knock off any buildup that you have, but you definitely wanna get every little bit and nook and cranny in there because you do not have the friction of the water when you're moving the boat, knocking off the buildup from within this. So you wanna be very detailed when you get up in, in crevices like that. Wanted to jump on this 65 HCB just to show you the size of this thing. It's absolutely insane. We got a 16 foot beam. You got six Mercury Marine V12 Verado outboards pushing this boat about 70 miles an hour. So absolutely incredible. And you really have to see this in person to get that, the, the feeling of it. So just take a look at the summer kitchen you have here. They're, they're currently putting down teak on the floors. This is a uh, polished teak here in the summer kitchen. There's refrigerators, storage sinks on both sides. I mean, it just is endless. Huge oversized top, full bench here on the back piece. You got a retractable dining room area, five release marine helm chairs, triple 24 inch Garmin MFDs, huge enclosure, just an impressive, impressive boat all the way around. Not only are they applying teak on the entire deck, but they're gonna put them up here on the cap as well, which is really gonna give this a nice sport fish vibe. They added frigid, rigid coolers, which is customary on a lot of the HCBs, which hold drinks, both port and starboard. And just check out this jump up piece to be able to get excellent visibility over this massive console. I'm not gonna jump into the console cabin right now because it is full of cushions, upholstery and gear basically storage as it's getting the NASCO product applied and getting detailed and the teak work. But we can take a look up here towards the bow. So you have a skylight here, letting some natural light into that cabin, kind of like a lounger, chaise lounge type thing here, which is contoured to your body, super nice. And then a huge forward seating space with another dining table that is also retractable. You can see how it's recessed into the deck. So it completely disappears storage throughout and just an incredible platform. Everywhere you look, you have more storage, you have sinks and features that just lend themselves to an excellent entertainment platform. Guys, I wanna say why HCB has been such a great corporate customer for us and they've done such a phenomenal job of managing customers' expectations. From the get-go, they let people know clearly this product has to be maintained. The guy who bought this boat, this, this is a several million dollar boat. And you know, when you spend this kind of money, you really wanna protect your investment. You know, and so what I mean by that is that guys call me all the time from all around the world and say, Ron, how often should we have to clean our boat? Well, I'm like, you know, I'm not God. There's a plethora of factors that contribute to growth. I'm just like simple answer. Listen, guys, you've spent a boatload of money on your boat. Just take care of your investment. So if you see growth, just address it and take care of it. Guys who've done that, have a phenomenal, phenomenal experience with Hallmax. Now, I have gotten calls from people, you know, who have had, you know, had some complaints around Hallmax isn't working. And, you know, but then I've asked them, well, listen, how often do you clean your boat? Well, listen, some guys said, Ron, we haven't cleaned our boat in three months. Well, you know, if you do not maintain Hallmax, you are gonna see growth. So now, we've actually seen it ourselves since we had it applied on our Costa and we've had a firsthand experience on all the, you know, pros and cons. Like you say, there's no product that's perfect. Right. You guys are very clear with that. 
from yeah. the get-go and, and managing expectations is the one part that I definitely grab from that. It's just like an engine. If you maintain your engine, that engine's gonna take care of you for a long time. The whole max is the same thing. If you leave it in some dirty water for three months, you're gonna get buildup. You're gonna be able to get it off, but there's a proper way of doing that as well. One thing that we've heard and having conversations through social media usually leads back to someone that cleans bottoms and is used to a traditional bottom paint and is scraping it off. And that's kind of the, the stories that we hear on someone not learning how to maintain the, the product properly. And it all boils down to that, applying it properly and maintaining it properly since we did that on our Costa. Yes. We've seen every benefit there is. I mean, obviously the clear bottom, the boat looks phenomenal. You don't have that black, you know, stripe down the bottom. The performance we've seen, the increases on that, which is incredible. We clean it at the sandbar for the most part on our own, just, you know, squeegeeing it off with a microfiber. So it can't get any easier, but again, I appreciate the honesty that you guys don't say, hey, this is a miracle product. It's not gonna ever grow any anything on, even though you guys are working on something pretty interesting. Yes. Maybe you wanna touch on that. Yeah, and I wanna show you, since we're at Hinkley today, we recently did this 55 Hinkley. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna show you guys here in a little bit. But I wanted to point something out to you guys. Look at this boat right next to it right here. This is another boat right here. Look at how ugly this is. You know, you look at this <laughs> and you look at that. This yeah, is beautiful. Yeah. You still have to maintain this. This is a traditional, you know, anti-fouling bottom paint. But you still have to you still have to maintain this. Yeah, you're still gonna get build up. You got to reapply this what every year? Every year, every 18 months, you have to do that. So, but hey, you, you know, get that line. You got to maintain it the same. The performance is where you're really gonna notice. The difference because this stuff is right. so abrasive that it, it destroys your fuel economy right. and top speed which is one of the huge benefits right. Right? And, and we're not we haven't even touched you know the resale value on this yeah you know i mean there there is a number i can't say what the number is but there is a number a boat is a lot more valuable when when there is no bottom pain on it when the when then there is bottom pain on it i think we've heard through our brokerage i don't know if it's 10 or 20 percent and you know anybody knows if you're selling a boat with bottom paint especially a center console not so much a, a sport fish or right. a yacht but a center console with bottom paint is a lot more difficult to move on that pre-owned market compared to something like this that doesn't have it. Really impressive, it's great to see it on a 65 HCB here at Hinkley. It's a great, incredible yard actually. We haven't been here till today, so uh, we wanna thank everyone here for giving us the opportunity. Right. You know, Ron, the uh, HCB group, and the group here at Hinkley Yachts. So uh, thank you guys again, and we, we hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna go check out that 55 Hinkley real thank quick as well. Thanks, Ron.